on Monday night here in the Flagler Gymnasium. We are underway. I'll fill you in on what you may have missed from the PA announcements. A light crowd tonight. Monday uh, short week at school, I think. I'm joined by Tammy Washburn. I'm uh, Bill Topping, and we are broadcasting tonight from the top of the bleachers again. Sammy, uh, first men's game for you to broadcast, right? Yes, yes it is. Came as a slight surprise, but expect yep. the unexpected. Exactly. You've got to be flexible. It's a three-point shot from outside from the Puerto Rican University of Puerto Rico team. Makes a 3 nothing lead early on. Flagler wearing their Flagler gold uniforms, brand new for this season. And the Puerto Rico, University of Puerto Rico team is wearing bright red. Whistle blows and Flagler on offense. Gibson had the ball. And he got pushed. Foul called on, excuse me. Foul called on number 23. That's uh, Jose Estaro. No, Arazo, excuse me. 2-3 the score now. Brian Martinez, starting point guard for the University of Puerto Rico team. Three-pointer shot there, missed by Azaro, and Dennis Diaz, number two, comes down with it. Dennis goes all the way to the glass. Inside, a one-man team tonight. Azaro gets the rebound. Excuse me, Arazo. I don't know, I've got that backwards for sure. Need to stop doing that. 3-2 the score, 1830 to play in first period. Well, Oxendine and Lydell Manigo also starting this game for the Saints. Left-handed layup off the glass is good. And that puts Industry Puerto Rico out in front, 5-2. Basket by Christian Medina. Back the other way. Flagler missed an opportunity and a three-point shot, a long one by Martinez. And it makes it 8-2. Flagler has two victories so far this year. Played two games, won them both. He has with the ball. Across to Manigo. Front court for the Saints. Gives it in Tate. Tate averaging a double-double so far this young season. That shot was off the side of the basket, no good. And back the other way. Medina, Arazo, and Rosario in the front court for the University of Puerto Rico. Still 8-2 to score. Trying to work the ball inside the tape. They do. The layup is good. Eight to four. 17 minutes on the clock. First period. Missed Tate's first basket, but Tate scored both yep. all four points for the Saints. Yes, he did. Well, we didn't miss it. Yeah, well, I got the point. I just didn't. We didn't say didn't anything. Well, we're doing this. Whoa, well, at the other end, ball knocked off the uh, glass there. A little contact. Basketball is a contact sport, according to Bill Russell, <laughs> former Celtic great. Now he should go to the line, and he will. Lydell Sr. from Durham, North Carolina. First one is good. Lydell scored 14 points. He was 4 for 4 from the line against Florida College last time out. Got every bit of the win there. Went all the way around twice. 2 for 2 from the line. 8-6 to score. Esteban Cordero brought the ball up that time. A long, high-arcing three-pointer by Martinez. No good. Whistle blows. Gibson called for that one. Falls on number 14, Desmond Gibson. Shot was good. And, and one for Elazo. And he hits it three points the old-fashioned way. 11-6 to score, 16-28 on the clock. Ball 
back the other way. Bagley not able to settle into the offense yet tonight. And man-to-man -man defense at the moment. A little alley, and well, it wasn't a slam, but it was a basket, and that's uh, the whole idea as Cordero scores. Sophomore from San Juan, Puerto Rico, makes it 13 to 6 with 16 minutes and 3 seconds on the game clock here in the first half. Against Florida College, it was an 83-67 victory. Uh, stats were fairly even all the way through that game, except for one stat in particular. Flagler had 20 second chance points, and Florida College had just six. Free throw percentage, pretty even, all the way across. Flagler spread the scoring out a little bit better, though. They had four players in double figures, led by Jarrell Oxendine, who was five for nine from three-point range and 23 points overall. Tate didn't get a double-double, but he has averaged 10 points and 10 rebounds for the first two games this season. Yeah, in that game against Florida College, Oxendine got a career high of 23 points in that game, talking about how he had led the team. Very good game. They're, they're going to need a lot out of him. He, uh, if he brings the ball up every time, he'll probably lead the team in assists. Matt Clark, though, off the bench, had six assists in that game. That shot no good, still 13-6. 15-45 on the game clock. Spin move inside, and that's a travel. Martinez quickly tried to get into the lane, but the spin move, he was going to kick the ball out, but he traveled first. So we've got a full timeout on the court. 13-6 your score. The Garritos, which is a Gamecock. That's the uh, mascot for the Puerto Rican team. They are Puerto Rico, Rio Piedras, Garritos. That's a mouthful. They're two and three this season. They, uh, they were part of a tournament down in uh, in Puerto Rico. A lot of teams, especially a couple of big Division One tournaments every year down in Puerto Rico, and uh, and they have Division Two team, uh, tournaments as well. Teams up north, uh, they don't want to have to travel with the bad weather travel, so they'd rather go to Puerto Rico and spend a week or two. Not a bad idea, huh, Sammy? No. I know the school I used to go to. They traveled to California like Christmas and New Year's. And where was that? Uh, Boston. Boston? Yep. Yeah, that, uh, that's a good place to leave this time of year. And they've had some brutal weather in the Northeast. Yes, we, they have. We have too. It was a brutal 78 today. All right, play about to resume. 15.31 on the clock. Seven-point deficit. As the Saints have put the ball in play, they trail 13 to 6. Oxendine on the point has the play from Coach Clark. Tate with the ball back to Oxendine, looking for Gibson inside. Got it to him. He backs down, left right hand off the back and good. So Gibson with two. His first two of the game. And on the other end. Playing a basic perimeter game with one post player, and he has the ball now. A nice turnaround move by Arazo. He has got the coolest shoes on the lot, though. Holy cow, those things are bright and shiny. Little floater, right-hand floater by Oxendine, no good. Gets his rebound, kicks it back, and that one just dropped right through the bottom of the net. Medigo with a three. He has five in the game. Lead down to four, 15-11. Still playing man. Nope, they're in the zone. They just swapped off. Sorry about that. Martinez quickly got in. I hit the uh, official who was standing out of bounds, but the place remained, for some reason, kept right on going. He hits the jumper, and it's... 15, Officials are part of the court. The ball hits and you play on, but he was standing out of bounds when the ball hit it. Surprised they didn't stop play. Arazo with the ball now back up top. Back 
the other way. Diaz to Manigo. Manigo pulls back, 10-footer off, and drops. Hit the rim, but straight up in the air and drop right through the bottom of the net. We're tied at 15. Piedras, long three-point shot by Martinez, no good. Starter still in for both teams at the 13-minute mark, but we're going to get a change as Austin Howard goes to the scorer's table to check in for the Saints, and there looks like four players ready to check in for So we're going to get a wholesale change by both teams here in a minute. As soon as there's a, as soon as there's time, there'll be a 12, a 12 minute timeout for media. They can change then, but we'll see what's happening here. Across the, across the paint, a right hand, almost a hook shot by Arazo, but Tate got the rebound, got it to Diaz. Diaz goes down the lane, left side, left hand good. 19-15 now. Saints lead by four. A little full court pressure by the Saints. Aquino's backs out. Oxen dying on him. Looking to kick outside, he did. Medina gets it back across court again. Ball knocked away by Oxen dying. Martinez loses the handle, gets it ahead. Ox two man to go, and he gets fouled. Lydell fouled in the act of shooting and went down. Be, now we're going to get the substitutions as Bell and Clark. Well, that's right. The time out. Clark went back over the bench. We'll see who ends up on the court when this uh, when play resumes for each team. Could be as many as four substitutions for the of Puerto Rico. I'd like to thank our corporate sponsors, Hampton Inn and Suites, and Milano Beach, WW Gay Mechanical Contractors in Jacksonville, Sonny's Barbecue, local prison master since 1968, Broad Sports Medicine Institute, and the Hot Shot Bakery and Cafe, serving breakfast and lunch adjacent to the Flagler Gymnasium. Kind of a light crowd. Uh, both the games, in fact, every game so far this year, Sam, started out this way, and then by the end of the game, the place was jumping, but I don't know about tonight. Now, it's a hard week. Yeah. People well, want to kind of get home. The weather's threatening as well. It uh, looks like it's going to rain outside here now, so. Never know how that affects, especially students who generally walk over here. Yeah. But what else they got to do? It's not like they're studying or anything. They don't do that anymore, do they? I don't think so. I'm going to say yes, because I know there's parents listening, but... Come on. <laughs> a lot of them went to college, too. <laughs> so we have to get us substitutes there in yeah, the entire team. Yeah, uh, yeah, all five. I got five new guys in there. For the Saints, Bell did check in, along with uh, Howard and Clark. Torres, number three, is in the game, along with Angelero, number 10. And Michael, and this is a good one for me, Franciacini. He is number 30. And also on the court now is Joseph Hernandez. Nine points in the game so far. Leading score for the Saints. Coaches love guys that can make those free throws. Oh, a step back jumper. Nice play by Hernandez. Dropped that one right in the bottom of the net. Hernandez a junior from San Juan. Austin Howard up top. Looking for Gibson inside, he got him, but the defense went right to him. Manigo misses from outside, three-pointer. 
Rebound to Fanciacini. Hanago just stepped in front of that pass and stole it. Clark on one side, Manigo on the other. Howard up top with the ball. Larry three-pointer that slides into the basket. Jess Lavelle hits the three. That's a sophomore from Cabinboro, Tennessee. Ten minutes, 18 seconds, 24-17 to score. Wagner leads it. Rio Piedra got off to a quick lead. Flagler chipped out a little bit, finally got the lead. Now they've stretched it to seven points. And the whistle just blew on Manigo, I believe. Yes, number 12. Going to draw, gonna pick up a foul. That's his first. He leads all scores with nine points. No shots involved. Three team fouls for each team. Here's Tate and Dennis Diaz just checked back into the game and for Flagger and Brian Rodriguez came into the game for Rio Pedras. Driving, shooting, and the whistle goes on. Who, uh, I'm not sure, let's see who drew that one. Clark called for the foul. No, Chris will use two hands when he do that. Chris will use one hand to go 3-2. <laughs> Confuse me. Yep. Going to the line is An Angel Torres. He is a junior. That one is good. So 24-20 three-point play cuts it to a four-point lead for the Saints. Howard gets it inside to Gibson. Gibson backs down, right hand off the glass. And good. a slight bit of a flop by uh, Torres. Don't call that much anymore. They've uh, de-emphasized the, uh, the flop call. It is uh, it, just something they're trying out this year because it became almost rampant. 26-20 the score. No shot there. Get it into the corner. Quick defense by the Saints. 2-3 zone. He has challenged the right-hand shot. No good by the Hazers. Howard to Clark, to Diaz, for three. Bang. Got it. 29-20, 3-D. One more time. Still in the zone. Little right-hand floater, no good, off the uh, top of the basket by Francis Schoener. He has back to Howard at the other end for the Saints. Coach Clark calling a play. Trying to set a high screen, Clark Gibson. A three-point shot that was just a bit off the mark, just a bit outside by Howard. So that's a turnover. And we have the under eight minute media timeout with a nine point lead for your Saints, 29-20.
tell you, Sammy, I'm getting older. I, I don't know whether that loudspeaker is louder tonight or just maybe it's the fact that the gym's not so full. I'll, I'll say that's what it is. It's not that I'm getting yeah. older at all. University of Puerto Rico, Rio Piedras is a big school. There's 18,000 students in that school. Head coach, Danny Ortiz. And assistant coach, Grimaldi Maldonado. Of course, our own coach, Bo Clark, with Jake Pickett and Keith Matthews. Keith, a star from last year's team, now as an assistant to Coach Clark on this year's team. Keith, another player that just about averaged a double-double for his final year here at Flagler. 29-20. Seven minutes and 50 seconds left in this game. Howard and Gibson along with Clark and Bell and Diaz in the game. That ball knocked loose by Gibson. He's back from the round, didn't he? Yeah. Basket's going to be good, and they're going to give him another one, and Gibson is going to check, pick up his second foul. So Hernandez with four points. See if he could, he's going to go to the line and try and give himself five. And then he goes checking back in. Bell stands in. Looks like we're going a little smaller in the lineup. Yep. Oxendine and Manigo check back in. Gibson comes out. So the lineup now will be a little, little smaller. Little touch, soft touch there. Bounce a couple times, but it drops. So five points now for Hernandez. And it's 29-23 Saints as Oxendine's getting a little backcourt pressure. Gets it to Clark in the corner. Matt drives, looking for an open man. Gets it to Manigo, and Manigo... And Clark just weren't on the same page on that give and go. 29-23 to score. Saints drop back into a 2-3 zone. Now they break into a man on man. It's a hot arc and three-pointer there. But I was hit the Raptors. Omar De Jesus. Junior from Carolina, Puerto Rico. Diaz steps back for a three, rolled it right across the top of the basket, and Manigo gets the rebound and the putback. Manigo with 11. Saints with 31. They lead by five. So, eight-foot jumper misses by Rodriguez. Clark drives, gets it to Diaz, another three, no good. Hit the rim, rolled right across the top. And an open look. Diaz with five points in the game so far. 31-26. Another three-pointer. This one no good off the rim, and Oxenbein comes down with the ball. Martinez couldn't, excuse me, not Martinez at all. De Jesus couldn't convert. Manigo rolls one across the rim. Shooting from just outside the free throw line. Rosario getting ready to check in for the University of Puerto Rico team. To Gavitos. Hit the back of the rim and went right through. A three-point shot for Hernandez. And here's from San Juan. Cuts the lead to two, 31-29. Foul on Michael Franciacini. Five minutes, 11 seconds to play. First half, 31-29 to score. 
He was looking to get it inside the bell. He does. Right back out. Dennis drives. Kicks it to Hudson Dyer. And he hits it. Well, now with five points, 34-29, Flagler on top. Diaz almost had the steal. Got a hand on it. That shot misses. Shot from the corner, no good, as Clark now from three-point range hits it. 37-29. Those three point shots, and I don't think he missed one in warm up. He's probably spent more time in the gym than the rest of the guys combined, as, as you know, the family, yeah. family history. Granddad and dad, and two brothers, and his dad, the only player to have his number retired by the University of Central Florida, still holds every scoring record down there. 37 29, four minutes left in the first half. Not to mention in fact, the fact that his dad's his coach. Well, even if he wasn't, he's been in the gym yeah. for how many hundreds of years? I mean, hundreds of hours. But yes, yeah, so, you know, one of those things that's in your blood. Time out on the court at 3 minutes and 55 seconds, 37-29. Saints over the Gavito. Right on Manigo leads all scores with 11 points. That's working there? Yep. What do we got for rebounds? Um, Diaz Tate has four, and Desmond Gibson has three for Flagler. And then for Rio Pedras, Arazo has four rebounds, and Medina. Total is fairly even there from those numbers. Four? No, I meant uh, yeah. team, team numbers. Team, I'm sorry. Team numbers. Well, I also do not include Diaz and Manigo each have two. Okay. So, Flagler's a little higher. Flagler yeah. did so well last game with their second chance points. And follow the offensive rebounds. Coaches love offensive rebounds. The shooter is the one that knows where that ball's going in, just pretty much as soon as he lets it go. Can't always follow your shot, especially on the inside. Got a little bit ragged there. Cox and Diane Manna go along with Clark, Diaz, and Bell on the court for the Saints. Bell trying to back in. He gets fouled. He got him. Rosario got him. Pro Bajo, Baja, excuse me. Pro Baja, Puerto Rico, the junior. Listed as a center. They've got three or four players about the same height on that team. He's listed as 6'6", six, six, but he looks as tall as the guys that are listed as 6'8", so who knows. I'm not sure who does the measuring. They all look tall to me. I'm... You're shorter than I am. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised there's not more eyes poked in this game, especially around the basket. I think he's going to be okay taking taking a seat and the uh, trainer's looking at him. Bell at the line. Drops that one. Kessler's second free throw, also good. Kessler has five points now, and it's a 10-point lead for the Saints, 39-29. Start out in that zone, and then they break into a man-to-man -man as, uh, as soon as the ball gets moved. Left hand on the glass, and good. That was a nice-looking play. They laid the ball around, Torres got it and put it in by the left hand. 31-39, Clark looking for Diaz, back to Oxendine, now Clark, three-pointer. 
Off the rim, no good. He was a good five feet past the arc. Rosario calling for the ball inside, trying to get position. Working on Manico at the moment. The pull up jumper from about eight feet. And that one drops right back through. Rosado, David Rosado Jr. from Fairlawn, New Jersey, the only non Puerto Rican resident on the team. Galipos playing a zone of 1 3 1. Get a soft roll. Oxen Dine picks up three more. Scoreboard's a little short to put it up there. There he goes. Got eight now. 42 33 the score. That was a little too strong as it bounced out. The Jesus, a little bit too strong to the basket. Bell looks. Nope. Oxen Dine slows it down. Well, calls the play, moves right, hence to Clark, who goes left. High screen for Diaz, no shot. Drives, running right side, Clark, three-pointer, also the no good, Bell rebound. Right hand of Manigo is good. Manigo now with 10 points. I'm sorry, they put that on the wrong guy. That was Manigo, and he should have 13, or, yeah, 13 now. Marasso hits it at the other end. 35-44. Diaz scores. The offensive end for the Saints. He has seven points. He will go to the line. Marasso starts with the foul, but... That might be his, it is his third. Razo has 10 points, but he also has three fouls, and he'll get a little bit of a rest. Well, no, there he goes. I thought, sure, they'd take him out, and they are. I wonder where you get shoes like that. Those are cool. I don't know what color that is. I don't know if it's green, turquoise, aqua, something. It looks like mint green. How about the dazzle uh, red shoelaces, though? They're kind of sparkle. Florida College had pink Nikes the other night. Uniforms, things like that, are actually a recruiting tool now. Young men want to look good. Don't blame them. I like these, these new Flagler Gold uniforms they're wearing at home this year. I think it's pretty nifty, personally. Been black and white for about 12 years. I talked to uh, Coach Clark before the season a little bit in the office, and uh, he said he always just kind of stuck with black and white with some red trim, and uh, this year he decided to go crazy. My words, not his, but still, they, it, it does, it, they are quite um, uh, different. I like them. I, I mean, I think they... Too. Yeah. Hey, they keep winning. Maybe they're lucky. Well, that wouldn't hurt. I'll give it that. 45, 46, 35 now. The free throw is good. Dennis with eight points. Garitos on offense. Keeping the ball on the perimeter. Nobody in the post. Tried to work it inside, but Chester Bell waiting right there. Steals the pass. Uh, I don't know what he's waiting for exactly, except the clock is running down. But but they're not even. The game clock is at about 25 while the shot clock's at 12. I guess they want to limit the opportunities, but they have a chance to get two shots. Bell, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Manigo tries to go back up with it. Ball was knocked away. Down to the other end in a hurry. Cross-court pass as Martinez drives with the left hand and the whistle blows. 
And the Saints should get it back right here. They do. Martinez, I believe, stepped on the stepped out of bounds there. Okay. Their five, not our five. Martinez charged with a foul. And that will send Jarrell Oxendine to go to the line. It's a one and one, 17 fouls with five seconds left on the clock in the first period. There's 17 fouls on the Garitos. So no fouls. I heard that hollered out here. A running left-handed shot by Martinez is no good. Bell comes down with the rebound. I guess they get credit for that because it was before the buzzer sounded. Got a halftime score, 46-35. The Saints was down early but came back in a hurry, and now they lead it by 11. Still popping. Along with Sammy Washburn, we are going to be back with a couple of minutes left in the halftime to give you the halftime stats. 